Oh yeah, yeah, we're back. We're just gonna play a couple more games. As I smell delicious popcorn. That's her. <laughs> Uh, I clicked on my ads so you guys didn't get annoyed about it. Also, this emulator that I use... Oh, you guys can't see a thing. Um, this emulator that I use... Um, ads really don't like... This emulator does not like ads. It uh, didn't work out too well. Crashed my <laughs> emulator a couple times. But now that the ads are done, I was able to buy some stuff at the store here. And uh, I can't upgrade it because I don't have any money. Oh, FYI, if you guys go to this knowledge base section, you can click on... It'll tell you what exactly they explained in the tutorial. But, they'll also give you some cash some gems. Gems are always good. Yeah, yeah. Listen to their stupid tutorials. Oops, didn't grab that. Grab, grab the gems, keep it moving, generate mana. Nice, keep it moving. Now that that's cleared out, let's go back into PvP and wreck some fools. Oh, oh, oh! I forgot to put a unit in my deck. That's really not good. Let's stick with our same strategy. It's a nice setup. I always like when it's split like this. Like it's split evenly. Cool. Let's upgrade. Let's upgrade right off the back. I'm just gonna keep doing it. I mean, I'll keep you going. I mean, I'm gonna get hurt. Hmm. So, what I've realized is over time, I feel like you are given a full deck. Right? And you get majority of one thing. Well, not one thing. A certain amount of things. Which is the course of the game. So, like, some, some games will start off with a whole bunch of green, green arrow guys. And then some games I'll only get, like, fire guys in the beginning. I'm just talking about. Like, I know it is supposed to be random, but I definitely agree with that. Like, I got wrecked. I'm just amazing at these little ranks. <laughs> Now that we hit the 30, 150 trophies, we finally get quest section. Nice. Quest box, baby. We always want to do these quests because they give you a whole bunch of stuff. Let's get my doors first. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. cool, cool. Let's see what quests we got. Oh, do these add mega chests. They give you a lot of gold. It's always good. Um, some of these we can't even do because we don't have the premium pass, but that's okay. Still have a lot of other things that we can do that gives you battle pass points. You know? A lot of battle pass points. Kill fast monster. That, that's the little yellow guy's called fast monster. I think that's where I saw Demon Dweller. Anyway. Level up any card. Ooh, we can do that one right now. Let's see what we got here. Um, let's start from the bottom. I'm just trying to get that critical all the way up. 15. It's good. Keep going. Nice. 217. Do we have 150? No, we don't. Let's see. Did we buy everything? Yes, we did. Alright. So we can't upgrade her yet. But that's, that's okay. But we upgraded one. So hopefully that ranks us up. Nice. Success. Picking that up. Pretty sure now we can upgrade Reaper. Yep. It's 400. Oof. Already broke. <laughs> no account. Let's play this co-op. So we can get this money. Doesn't even have to be a long co-op. Oh, I keep forgetting. Oh, never mind. Take me right in. So we're just gonna do playthroughs like this. Short one. I'll keep putting out parts. Spreading useful knowledge. This is what I was talking about before. See, I'll get a majority of the lightning guys. I mean, I guess it's as random as any other game, right? 
I'll fill in my board first, go to that strat first, and do some upgrades based on the majority. The game loves to not do what I need. What I always want. These green guys. Mainly because the lightning guys do ricochet damage. Yes, that's cool, but they do no damage. <laughs> Fire guys are cool because they have an after effect burn, which is awesome. They also do no damage. Consistent damage. And the higher your critical rate goes up, the higher chance they hit the critical damage. This guy's going for the heavy upgrade, <laughs> which is fine. That's what's good about the up. One guy can go for the upgrade, other guy can kind of just spread out his stuff. But I'll wait till this is finished. We survive. Yeah, see, like, this electricity just doesn't cut it. Oh, wow. Are we really gonna lose right now? But we're terrible. Play any mode. Alright, well, give us a little bit of cash. Give us just enough to upgrade this girl. That's all we wanted. Just wanted a nice upgrade. It's a quest we can do while we're at this. Upgrade a card to mana power level 3. That's pretty simple. You can do it in a PvP match. Mm, Mad Hatter. You know that. Shit's always great. Okay. So it looks like this guy's new too. Uh, later on, you'll get to know exactly what all these colors will be. Like, this is the poison dude, this is the, our green archers. Um, this is, I'm pretty sure, I don't know what he's called, but he can move the spots of the unit. That'll be important later. Since it's bad lamb, I'm gonna fill my board and then go for each upgrade. If this guy doesn't lose automatically, which is funny because he went for the upgrade, mode, and I'm just filling my board. I don't care. So we got the ice and the green poison. He's gonna lose. Just from that. See, that was my problem. When I got into this game, I was heavy merging everything. You never know what you're gonna get with a merge. That's why you wanna. It's a safe bet to always clear your board. That's always good. Nice. More crystals. Yes. You know, I'm trying to think of an effective method of using these crystals because I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna use them for anything else. I should use them. I think I might use them later to upgrade my, uh. No, you can't. It just costs money. It's funny. But, uh, yeah, I'll use it to get a couple levels, but I'll do that later. That's what I'll save it for. That's what I do in my other account. Um, I can't refresh a store now. You can see that there will always be a timer. This one says one hour, which isn't that bad. Um, I can't really upgrade anyone, so I'll just keep moving ahead. Um, how much damage does he do? I actually don't know. Poisoner is what his name is. is this guy's name? Lightning Mage. She is the priestess. So, in this menu, you can really check out how much damage they do. And this is what I was talking about in my previous video. The insta-kill chance is 4%. It's nothing. <laughs> Even if you had a whole bunch of them. The 4% is not stacking. This ad. No. Going back in. So yeah, you want to make sure that you don't put a bad limb again. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna fill my board, upgrade everybody. This guy doesn't lose. I taunt him. Like, yeah, what up? So looks like it's the same guy. It's got the same hand holding. As you can see lightning, ice, fire, mage. This is. Oh, wait, actually, you know what? This actually might be him. I'm sorry, I take that back. There's another character that has a pink hue. 
right? Uh, he, he transfers uh, the spots of your cards. This guy's going for the upgrade, the merge technique. Super risky, especially in these low levels. The higher you get, you get cards that you could probably help with random merging. And you can cut your losses. This merging isn't working for me. He's probably wondering what the hell, how is he still winning? He's not gonna do too so much for you, dude. See, look at that. I did that early, I've been stuck with just a 30 attacker. The problem with these guys is they attack randomly. He's just all over the place attacking. Except in the first guy. Yeah, we won. Nice, sweet. Hmm. It's a victory chest. There we go. Alright, you guys, I don't want to want to put you through the pain. So I'm gonna go like this. Here we go. I'm gonna watch it. Don't listen. Can't mute it. There we go. Oh, there we go. I muted it. You can enjoy the soft sounds of royalty-free music. But uh, ads are very heavy in this game. They're super annoying. But this is probably the one of the few games that uh, I don't I don't mind watching the ads because they, they you get so much benefit from them. Um, let's see if this one's done. Looks like we have one more second. And. Uh, no, I clicked something I wasn't supposed to. There we go. Alright, I think we're back. Nice. So, we got our victory chest, which gives us a whole bunch of stuff, some money. Got the cold guy. Can we upgrade yet? No, we're still broke. Let's see what we got here. We are a recruit now. So, I'll explain some of these guys. So, Frost is a legendary. I still to this day cannot figure out how to use him. I had him in my deck for a while. He, unlike the Frost Mage, uh, slows everyone. Every so a couple of seconds. Uh, the slow's okay, but I also don't think that his stacks, like if you had a couple Frost, they don't stack off of each other. Only Frost Mage does. He is super important. The engineer. I'm going to tell you right off the back. You need six of them next to each other. Not diagonally. Only horizontal and vertical. And they buff each other. And they get these f red, fi red fire hands. I've never used him. I'm pretty sure he's good in a cool build. Hunter is a good common card. Does a lot of damage. Especially if you upgrade this card. Uh, deals extra damage on first shot, but he's also, I'm pretty sure he doesn't, yeah, so target is random. You gotta keep an eye on this. This random targeting is super annoying. This guy attacks first. I always love the first. This guy's first. I always love the first, so it's always a good deck. Ooh, 150 gems. Alright. No, I don't want that frosty deal. Let's collect some rewards. Nice. Um... Uh, yes. No. Alright, so we got an add thing here, which can generate some uh, battle pass points. Um, let's check what's in the shop. I think we got a premium pass. Oh, nice. For 11 bucks. Sounds great. Nope. Alright. Let's upgrade these guys to, again, raise our critical damage. You always want that high. We don't have 400 to upgrade him yet but we'll keep on since this guy does a lot of damage I might put him in my deck in place of you yes I'm going to do that and what else did we get I think that's it yeah reaper's cool and all but uh attack interval is one second he attacks randomly, and he only does 45 damage. That insta-kill is not really going to save us. He attacks faster, does more damage. So, that's exactly how that math is going to work. 
go straight into PvP. Well, that was fast. Again, remember what we were talking about? We had three lightning mages right off the back. This guy went for the merge technique. Super early. Tribunal. One of the worst bosses in this game. It makes me want to cry. So Tribunal likes to hop out of this portal and take everything that you've built. Anyone not upgraded gets deleted. I think it's like five of them. Five or six. Anyone who's, who is merged gets demerged one rank. So stupid. It really is so stupid. I try to win before it even gets to the boss phase. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spam out. But if it gets to like 30 seconds, I'm gonna start merging everything. Um, hopefully I can kill the monsters fast enough to get his monsters to this point. And he'll lose. And we won't have to deal with Tribunal. But if we do have to deal with him, this, you know, we can't hide. Him. 30 seconds gives us enough time to merge everything. Hopefully, we don't get beat. Uh, uh, I think we're gonna be good. Yes. I've had a lot of losses from Tribunal. He's super annoying. And it doesn't even tell you anything anywhere. Yay, more Hunter. So, if you go to the knowledge base, right? Summoning units. They should have units in here. Just a thought. Um, let's collect some of these things. Let's collect some of these things. Let's collect the rewards. Nice. More money is always good. More priestess is always good. We've got the random attacker guy. Who does 7 damage? Wait. Damage per strike increases by a random number. I've never used it before. But I'm going to upgrade him anyway to get that critical damage. Upgrade him. He starts to do a lot. Look, plus 15 every single time. That's so awesome. Love it. We're going to keep rocking the same deck. Until we get 400 so we can upgrade Reaper. For what? That critical damage. Alright, we're going to play like two more games. And then we're going to cut this part two. And, uh... I'll probably play some games later and record it for you guys. A little bit of commentary, tutorialness. Again, if I were to give you any advice for new players, just don't even merge if you don't have to. Just fill everything and wait. Just wait. Just watch it. Because the way this game teaches you. This guy's. Oh, thank you. The way this game teaches you is to to merge things when you're not even supposed to. When you don't even need to. Merging's cool, but they'll attack faster. They won't. They won't do more damage. <laughs> Gotta upgrade them. And we're facing Mad Hatter, Deadland. doing a half merge, half fill your board type of thing. I think he noticed that I wasn't really doing anything. I was like, you know what? Would you like him? He has the multi attacker and is blessed with the green archers. So he's having a good luck spree. He just let it walk through. So I don't understand why I lost, but when why I won, but when you're curious on why you won, it's usually because of your crit damage being higher than theirs. And that's the truth. People who have had a lot more games played than you will have a higher crit damage because they've just been upgrading everything. They have more money than they, you do. Um, which is kind of messed up, but 
it also is good because the rankings don't really start until you fly all the way up to leagues and then you'll really get ranks so leagues start over here so, um, uh, I can't really upgrade anything I don't even quest except for this watch ad watch ads just want to play so let's keep analyzing everyone we come against um, again I'm gonna, I'm gonna still keep doing this strat where I'm just kind of throwing everything out um I could merge them too but I'm gonna let it rock I'm not really losing I don't need the cash I can sit here most of this you can just watch Make sure you don't let these demon dwellers through because they will push through and then all the little guys are behind him. Look at this. See the slow? The slow is doing nothing. This guy went through the merges, early merges. Look at this. He's probably doing 40 damage. I can't even see. You can see that? Yeah, I see a couple 40s around here. So stupid, I hate it. That's why I'm going to the Reaper. I still have yet to see him insta kill anything. Oh, there's one. Nice, that 4% hit. Um, seeing as I have two of these, I'll go ahead and. I have two of these. Uh, let's wait. Oh, try to get all. We've got 30 seconds, guys. We've got 30 seconds. This guy actually looks like he knows what he's doing. So, I'm almost there. I'm start yeah. well, okay, well, okay. Alright, so we'll go like this. So, another technique you can do for Tribunal is to stop your money. Get to a comfortable point that they're not going to be deleted. So, this will be deleted, this will be deleted, this will be deleted. Comfortable point, stockpile your money. So when he deletes it, he only does one delete. And that's it. And then he like charges. But other than that, he doesn't really do it. So look, he's gonna delete it, he's gonna degrade these guys, and then he's gonna go off on his stupid horse. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just use the money I have to purchase some more guys. We're both not gonna be able to take out, which is fine. Both are strong enough anyway. Now this is super risky because we both have one bed lamb. You know how that works. Upgrade everything. Just to be safe. This guy took a risk of merging things even more. And he's stuck with the Reapers, which isn't good for him. I just want to get to a point. He took a huge risk merging everything. Yeah, if you don't know the bosses sometimes, you'll just lose. Alright, let's do one more. And then we'll call it. Priestess. Yes, I would love to upgrade you for 400, so maybe never. Sorry, I'm broke. Let's do another one. <laughs> Tribunal, man. Uh, just getting the worst luck. Let's see what he's rocking. Reaper, of course. Yeah, when I first started this game, I left Reaper in my deck for so long, not realizing how weak he was. I just figured since he was epic, it meant something. Which, I mean, his move is good in insta-kill, but it's such a low percentage, it doesn't really matter. And also, if you notice, I, s I don't automatically spawn from how much mana I have. 
I wait till I get like two, especially in the beginning. Because you can get two priests. Would have been like pow, pow, dead, 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 dead. Right, we're gonna wait till 30. And we'll merge everything. Or stockpile cash, whatever. If I get one horrible merge, I'm not gonna do it. If I kill this guy, cool. out and chops your head off. And I win. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I'll try to keep it up with the playthroughs and uh, show you guys more things. Um, but for right now, I'm going to go back on my main account. Hope you guys enjoyed. See ya.